From KNME TV, New Mexico's award winning public television station, comes a groundbreaking portrait of one of the world's most celebrated architects, Antoine Predock. Architecture is a kinesthetic right. A building is a, a physical encounter with your body. I want things to happen to someone experiencing my buildings. They're a ride, and you, you jump on. And it can be a very calm, quiet ride, or it can be a, a ride that's cranked on. Working from a sprawling studio just off Route 66 in Albuquerque, Predoc has left his mark around the globe. From private homes to baseball stadiums, from aquariums to museums. Drawing from the elements of air, earth, fire and water, Predoc creates environments that are bold, stylish, irreverent and rooted in regional heritage. Buildings that simultaneously awe and embrace. The influence of New Mexico on my work is it's almost impossible to talk about because it's so profound. The aura is comprised of overwhelming space, light, landforms that are sensationally, uh, crazily, it's like a geologic demolition derby here. Those seeking proof of Predoc's accomplishments need look no further than the gold medal he received from the American Institute of Architects in 2006. In citing Predoc, the AIA said, arguably more than any American architect of any time, Antoine Predoc has asserted a personal and place-inspired vision of architecture with such passion and conviction that his buildings have been universally embraced. If you're making architecture, you believe in, it's full of all kinds of things that are promises to be discovered. For me, it's poetically honoring a place when you do a building, poetically deriving a building from place, from site, from culture. You know, I, I have my theory, the theory that architecture is landscape and drag, but uh, the, uh, the notion of landscape and architecture as kind of one subject. And I'm a landscape architect for, for what it's worth. I, I, I never thought there was any difference in the, between those disciplines. What if the outcrop You're living a project day to day, moment by moment. Information's feeding in. I like it when it comes in sort of sideways or from the back where you're not thinking too much. Anything that comes along can have relevance. Some, you know, movie I saw day before yesterday or something from cruising the channels, um, something on the internet, music. So many things can, uh, can come into the picture. And I just invite them all in. Well, I've done some bad buildings, and you're, I'm never going to tell you where they, what they are, but done some bad buildings in my time. Why are they bad? I'm just lazy. Lazy, didn't go deep enough. In 63, after returning to New York after the a Columbia Fellowship, which took me all over Europe, I, I was laying in my friend's crash pad in New York and then a hard rain's gonna fall came on the radio. Oh, where have you been, my blue-eyed son? It blew my mind. And where have you been? My darling young one. Stand on the edge of the ocean until I start sinking. And I'll stand on the ocean until I start sinking. But I'll know my song well before I start singing. And I'll know my song well before I start singing. That line it's means you're not going to bullshit. It's a hard, it's a hard and it's a hard. Antoine Predock, Earth Meets Sky. Coming in 2008 from KNME.